At first glance, this may look like some sort of extraordinary underwater world, but it's actually pollen that's been magnified 500 times. Pollen plays a crucial role in plant reproduction. The process of pollination involves these tiny grains going from the male part of one flower, called the anther, onto the female part of another, called the stigma. When this happens, the genetic information contained inside the pollen is transferred from flower to flower. So pollination is basically the way the plants make babies. Because they can't move around much when it comes to dating, flowers usually need help from their environment. Pollen grains can travel on the wind or in the water, but they usually spread through collaboration with other living creatures, such as insects, birds, lizards, and even some mammals. Here's a honeybee visiting a flower. The tiny pollen grains stick to their hairy bodies very easily. This allows them to pollinate up to 5,000 flowers in a single day. Flowers and bees have evolved together over millions of years, and plants have developed many ways of attracting bees in order to make use of their pollen transportation services. And the most common way is to provide a drink of sweet nectar for the visitors. Most plants make their nectar easily available. However, some have designed much more complex dating strategies. For example, one type of South American orchid temporarily traps its guests and glues pollen onto their backs. As is often the case in romance, appearances can play a role. The beautiful shapes and colors of flowers evolved so they could grab the attention of passing pollinators. This bee can tell where nectar is to be found by looking out for colors that catch her eye. Bees can see ultraviolet light and some flowers have UV nectar guides these are like bullseyes that are invisible to us, but stand out vividly to bees. There are also other ways to entice pollinators. Some flowers look and smell like bees, so that when an eager male lands in hope of mating, he ends up with pollen stuck to him. The more we learn about pollination, the more weird and wonderful it becomes. And here's something really interesting. Every flower produces a unique electromagnetic field according to its shape and its height above the ground. When a bee comes close enough, these minute fields cause tiny hairs on her body to bend. So she can actually sense flowers that are a few body lengths away from her. What's more, the electric charge can also cause pollen to jump right off the flower onto the bee before she even lands on it. Pollination is so important to us because we humans depend on plants. They harness energy from the sun through photosynthesis and turn it into stuff that we find very useful, such as food. In fact, it's estimated that one out of every three bites that we eat is made possible by pollinators. Isn't it extraordinary that this process involves so many different things, combining in such an intricate way? the sunlight, the rain, the flowers, the birds, the bees, and you, the beekeeper.